already. So, so, um, so India, um, where are you now? Because I know that you have uh, been accepted to um, ESCP, but I don't even know because we have not talked uh, from some time. Where are you currently studying? I'm currently studying in London, London campus mm -hmm. for the ESCP MIM Masters in okay. Very good. Um, so, uh, so you're on Finchley Road, huh? okay? And and when did you start? Uh, early September. When did you start? Uh, yes, yes. My starting date was the the fourth of September, and okay. you have the first week of uh, just integration with a mm -hmm. seminar, and then the second week you start uh, the courses. Okay. And why have you decided to stay uh, in London? Because you study at the University of Bath. You did an internship. The internship was in the UK as well. Where was the internship? Yes, okay. it so was be in your fifth year. So it will be your fifth year in the UK. Exactly. Why have you decided to 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 study in the UK when you have already spent four years in the UK? That's a great question. Uh, it's mainly because I wanted to take advantage of uh, the set. I already had this pre-settled status by being mm -hmm. four years in the UK as a student, and because I arrived before Brexit, so mm. I had a pre settled status, and you need five years to have the settled, which mm. can give you uh, basically the British passport. So I decided to stay in London one more year to then apply for the settled status, we, which will um, most probably give me uh, the visa of here, like the passports. A residency, so, or is it a residency or a passport? It's a passport. It's a passport. passport. You'll be a, a, a British citizen as well. Huh? Okay. Yes. You need five years, consecutive five yeah. years. Mm -hmm. to, be, to be one. So I understand the GID. Um, so you studied at University of Bath. I know you're at ESCP. So how different is it? I know you have not been there for long, but uh, from what you have seen so far, how, how different is it to study at ESCP than it is to study at, uh, at Bath? Uh, has nothing to do because Bath was a campus, so I would say um, I, I, it's it's hard to to compare with being two weeks at USCP to be honest. But first of all, the the, the people I think the the people are as much as uh, internationals as in Bath. Maybe in Bath it was much more international in the term that the sense that. Uh, uh, there was really people coming coming for everywhere, and there was not uh, a majority of a certain population. Rather than here in USCP, in London this year in my program, it's true that there is a lot of Italians and a lot of French, and then there is uh, maybe the rest is like six percent Germans, and then you have uh, uh, Americans and then Chinese Indians. Some Americans, some Americans as well. Even Americans yeah. here, like three percent. In my yeah, well, it's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. Hello, uh, you already have uh, so at ESCP you will do a specialized master or a general management master. Uh, so it's a master in management, and you can specialize yeah. in your first and second year. Okay. So in my second year, uh, in my first year, I chose e entrepreneurship, which mm -hmm. is basically a scale up things. Mm -hmm. And uh, in my second year, uh, I think I'm, I'm wishing to specialize. Uh, more in the finance specializations. More finance than uh, okay. So you already have a background in finance. So, uh, so why have you decided to do a two-year MB, a two-year master, uh, when uh, you have already uh, stayed for four years, and you um, when you could do, for instance, some masters like IEC, IE, uh, LBS, Imperial, LSC, a one-year master. So why a two-year master versus a one-year master, and why? Uh, a non general management master and not a specialized master. Yeah, so uh, first question, why a two-year master? Because I think the the the, the, the job market or the the, the, the developed um, the actual uh, job market and, and, and climate is a bit uh, is a bit saturated and I thought that uh, and plus also I, I wasn't uh, sure of uh, where I wanted to, what really I want to do. So I thought that uh, having a two-year master was was a great option uh, because when I would finish my two-year master, I would know what I want to do. I would have also 
uh, more uh, experience because I can do uh, in between my M1 and M2, I can do if I want uh, gap year and do more yeah. internships. And so I thought I would have more uh, solid, uh, you know, um, competency and, 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 and motivation after my master uh, rather than just going for one year master, which is, yeah, it's just two schools. Uh, and then the other question, what was it again? It was uh, why are not specials master? Because yeah. um, uh, I think you can specialize in the meme. So at the end, it's always good to have like, for me, I think I am I like to have different, um, different subjects uh, and then link them between each other. And then it's, you can always specialize in, in the second year. So uh you have the best of both worlds so that's why i choose a uh, meme rather than a specialized master and specialized imagine if you don't like it you're a bit stuck in it yeah but usually you you, you like you know when you want to specialize and at yeah. the same time what you told me is that you can do a uh, uh, entrepreneurship and you can do finance so of course if you were to do like just a one year master it would have been impossible at in, at LBS to do uh, entrepreneurship and finance. Yeah. And time, so you can you can study more. You have more time. Uh, you want to do your 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 um. So you there would be an internship. You you have an idea for you want to have the internship because you already are you already sending a, a yes. request. Uh, what do you want to to work? So. Um, uh, I I want to get an experience in a. In a in a big, uh, I think in a either uh, one of the big four or um, I would like to get a off cycle internship in transaction services or um, just uh, front office finance. So I'm, I'm currently applying for that, and um, ideally uh, it will help me to get into uh, then investment funds or or banks uh, in this like other segments. Um, so yeah, uh, transaction services is what I'm applying to right now. And I'm gonna also, um, I try to be a bit focused and not go everywhere because then uh, you get a bit lost. So I'm trying to also network a lot and talk with people from SCP, which is very helpful. And you really realize how um, a network uh, is valuable. Okay. Uh, basically, we didn't uh, <clears throat> we didn't enough time to introduce yourself. Yeah. Because, um, so can, can you please introduce yourself? The, the way we did, you know, uh, uh, who you are, your uh, international exposure, uh, your education experience, your personal experience, your your leadership activities, and your uh, and your uh, hobbies. Okay. <laughs> so my name is India, and uh, I'm from Paris. But I uh, also lived in Barcelona uh, for five years. So I did my um, the French school there, and so I did the scientific French baccalaureate specialization specialization in math. So um, I was I knew I wanted to do business studies. I was very inclined to that. So then uh, I went to the University of Bath. Uh, why University of Bath? I knew I wanted to go to the UK because I love the English system. Uh, but also I, I, I love, uh, I did a lot of athletics and tennis. So I wanted to continue to, to, to do my favorite sports. And Bath was the perfect um, environment to do that. So uh, because on the campus you have a lot of sports facilities and sports societies. So it's what I did. And I also did football there and the women soccer team, the English people are very into uh, in sports uh, and also sports nights, mm -hmm. uh, which are on the Wednesday nights. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so my hobbies are, the, are that. So I was playing a lot of tennis, uh, football uh, with my friends. And um, after that, uh, yeah, so I'm in London right now. I decided to, to, to keep it, to keep it, to stay here, which I, I like a bit the, the, the ambience here. And um, what more about me? Well, I, I'm someone that is uh, outgoing and that likes to meet people. I'm very curious. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, my, my, my experience from living in Barcelona really opened, opened my mind on, 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 on the world. Uh, it, it filled my, my need for for just exploring uh traveling and, and just 
being interested into other people uh, or other people's life, other people's thinking. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled by that. Okay. Yeah, by the way, uh, you come from a very sporty family because your father runs the marathon. And I remember that when you came to visit me at IEC, when we were in Barcelona, uh, you came by by bike and there's a big, big slope. Uh, yeah. uh, and, and you did it and it was quite uh, quite odd. So, yes, it's, uh, it's, it's rather unusual. Uh, of course, you can do it when you do sport. But it seems that for you, it's something uh, very common that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis. So, yeah, come from Barcelona, Bass, and two, 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 two cities that value sports. Um, so tell me, um, why have you picked up uh, ESCP? Because of course, there are other to your to your must uh, MIM programs. Uh, there are other programs that are to your own. Why, why uh, ESCP specifically? Uh, I think ESCP gives you a flexibility that is amazing. That uh, few schools give so you can go every six months you can move on campus uh, you can live in three cities uh, it's really an opportunity that only USCP gives because other ones such as ESSEC maybe has a campus in Singapore uh, and I don't know uh, I don't know much about the others but I think that this flexibility and this European um, uh, way of being really, uh, uh, really like I really liked it, and uh, I think uh, what else? Uh, USCP, it's 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 still. Uh, I mean, academically, it's it's super well reputated. Uh, it's one of the Parisian, um, and uh, I was really inclined to 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 the school, uh, and uh, yeah. So I, I made my choice, and I was very happy about my choice. Now that I'm here. Uh, the teachers here are super, uh, super interesting, um, and uh, really, it's really even better than I expected. Uh, the quality of, of teaching, uh, just the campus here is a bit, is a bit tiny, but uh, the quality of teaching, uh, how you can move, how you can do internships whenever you want, and take back on on courses. You can do uh, apprenticeships if you want in first or second year. You can um, you can basically uh, if I want I, w I can graduate in four years because if I want to do internship or do an exchange or whatever yeah, yeah. so it's uh, it's it's very nice to be able to just uh, do your way yeah okay very good tell me uh, you you already uh, we we wrote essays about this but of course it was one year ago uh, have you changed your mind so what do you want to do first M I M Sorry about Kawi. What do you want to do post MIM? What do you want to do after the MIM? Well, uh, I think it's going to be really based on what internship I get in uh, in between M1 and M2. So uh, post MIM, ideally, uh, I, I would love to start my career in London. Um, so I think it's a it's an exercise that I have to do. Uh, to 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 establish what I want to do post MIM, but uh, I think starting in uh, one of the big consulting like one of the MBBs would be a uh, goal uh, because you would work on a lot of projects, meet uh, super interesting people, and get what you like the most, uh, and then make your way from that. So ideally, uh, MBB in London uh, or uh, investment funds in Paris, uh, I think would be between Paris and London. So uh, in the sector of consulting, uh, yeah. So uh, I think I will always be inclined to, uh, uh, or the, also the universe of startups. I, I did an internship this summer in, in, a, in a French startup, uh, which is a legal tech. And, and I really liked it too. So um, I'm, I'm very open. Uh, but I still need to to, to 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 find my focus. As you can see, I say consulting, I say finance, I say everything. Uh, but I think the more I, I get um, experience, the more I'm going to sharpen my, my my goal. Okay, it's very good. Uh, so so you, you, your life is, is in London because you're not going to complete the, the next two, three years in London, no? You, you, you intend after this year to to study elsewhere or what is your plan mm, well uh, i will probably be uh, 
doing internship in Paris next year, as I will probably do the the année de césure. Okay. So the gap year. Uh, we'll have five years by then, so we'll have five years. So you can spend six months in in Paris. That's what you yeah. mean. And and when you do you intend to spend the the second part of the master. Yeah. So this is a great question. I think, uh, as I said, I'm gonna I'm really gonna be doing so London this year for a whole year, uh, because you can stay maximum three semesters in one campus, uh, but you can change every six, every semester. And I'm gonna do one year London, and then uh, I will probably do my M2. So after my gap year, in Paris, even though my heart my heart tells me go to Madrid, uh, my head tells me uh, go to Paris, because I think of the quality of the teacher and just the seriousness of, of the people. Uh, I'm very impressed. Berlin is good as well, huh? you see. Uh, India, Berlin campus is good as well, and it would be good for you to have a change. Because you spend time in in in, um, in France, you spend time in Spain, you spend time in the UK. Uh, if I were you, I would go to to, to Berlin. Berlin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's something I thought about. So it's a nice campus, and and then they you, you would make you a truly European woman and say, you know, I lived in I lived and studied and worked in Germany, in France, in Spain, in the UK. It's very impressive, no? What do you think? Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's, uh, it's the well, thing that I don't advise correct. the Warsaw campus. I don't advise the the Milan campus, even though you have a you have Indian Italian roots, I believe, uh, unless you want to learn Italian. But but um, um, yes, and what I would advise you, India, is the last semester, the last semester to spend it in uh, in the UK again to look for a job. You see, the in the UK, semester. the last semester to so do Berlin and and uh, you Berlin and then... one semester and London the last semester because you have uh, you have to find a job if you want to stay in the UK. Yeah, I mean I said London, but Paris would be fine too. But uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's better to be in London. You know, you have you have an interview. You want to meet people. You want to develop your network. In London, it's it's always better. It's always better. Okay. But that's what I would do if I were you. Okay. So if yes. I were you, I would spend one year in the UK so that you can have your your residency, six months in Germany to show that you're European, last six months in the UK, uh, in uh, in um, in, uh, in the UK to look for a job. That's what I would do if I were you. Yeah. So uh, that's what you know. Huh? That's the yeah. best. That's the best. To yeah. do. Um. So. Um, so, what, what piece of advice would you give to someone who wants to uh, apply for a uh, top uh, MIM like you? What, what, what would you advise to for preparation, school selection, optimization of the uh, application? What would you say? Yeah. So, uh, my first advice, my would be to start early, because the last year are always a hurdle. You have final exams. You 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 have uh, many questions because you want to to prepare your what you're going to do after. So start mm -hmm. thinking at least the thinking process early. So what do I want to search? Do I want to apply for jobs? Do I, do I want to work after uh, university? Do I want to know? Do I want to do master's? Mm -hmm. But in what uh, do I want to do a specialist master? Do I want to do a, a master in management? Do I want to... <laughs> it's really a lot of questions. So the earlier you start, the more clear would be for you. And as I did with you, Yubo, uh, in September, I started writing my essays and uh, really helped me to uh, when there was the application process i just had to to put it there and and then uh it was uh, yeah just this is the first advice second advice is um yeah to to take it seriously this question because uh then you, you will be very happy to have something uh when you finish um, university because some people get just stuck between they take uh, one more year uh, to do uh, the, the GMAT or, or to do this and they I mean you have no limit constraint when you're 21 years old but uh, still it's a bit like I would say uh, stressful or or, or not very uh, uh, comforting to, to just have nothing and take one more year and be in between decalage uh, yeah compared to others uh, other advice is to work on uh, uh, on your GMAT, GRE, or you can also take the SHL test for SAP to really take the base to take the basic back uh, math. Uh, just to do a bit every day at least, and uh, being uh, regular is the most important thing. 
and just to keep calm uh, also because if you start if you if you know what you want to do and if you're sure about it uh, you will get it you just have to want it okay very good uh but i will be happy to to to, to connect with you huh? i will when i go to london i will come to see you in jar how are your parents they, they came to see you in london or they have not have they come no, with not you yet no, I think they will come to see me, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, they, they want to come, and your father has more time, he sold his company, uh, they, have, they have more time for you, so they, uh, they, have, they, have, more time to, they have more time to travel, huh? but I would be happy uh, to see you, yeah. to, to, to see if I, if I can do something, uh, mm -hmm. something together, okay? For Just sure. I want to work with the BPA students, so I will tell you. So tell me, so it's very good. Um, so uh, good luck. Don't hesitate to revert to me if you need help for the cover letter or for the CD. By the way, the CD that we did for ESCP is a good one, but uh, maybe you can change on one or two things for next year. Yes. Uh, and for the cover letter, I don't mind that we, we won't take me much time. We, we can we can work on your cover letter. We can make a template that you can use over and over. Huh? Okay. Okay. It was nice to talk to, 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 to you. I remember that when you came to see me in, uh, in Barcelona at ISC, it was nice. We came with your father and with your mother. Yes. And uh, anyway, we stay in, in, in contact. We stay in touch. And it's there to send me students who do you know. By the way, I work with uh, Matilde Zarmati now. Yes. She's my student. She and called we are me. Done with the application. We are done with the application. We have finished cool. everything. So she called you to know more about, uh, about me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told her everything. So so I wish you a good day, Ninja, and uh, see you soon. Thank you very much for everything. Bye-bye, Thank you very much.